Hey guys, Greg with BTAD TV. If you've been to Ikea recently, you've probably seen the new Ikea Itizen table. This is their new electric standing desk table that will eventually, I believe, take over the Bacant's place as their most popular electric standing desk. In today's video, we're gonna take a closer look at the things that I like and don't like about the Ikea Itizen table. Confused about standing desks? BTAD TV is your number one standing desk resource. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Ever since IKEA has launched the Itizen table, we've received numerous requests to review the product, and it should come as no surprise as there's been a lot of exposure for the Itizen with it being found on the showroom floor at most IKEA stores. In today's video, we're going to be covering the things that I like and don't like about the Itizen. But if you'd like to find more detailed information, including photos of some of the inside components, I definitely recommend checking out the link that I've dropped down in the description that'll take you to btod.com's Learning Center. Before we jump into the review, let's take a closer look at the Itizen's current pricing and the testing the specs details. There are two different size options available. The first is the 27 and a half by 47 and a quarter, which is 579, and the slightly larger version, which is 31 and a half by 63 inches for 599. Both will ship for an added $199 shipping. And if you're in the store, you do have the option to get the frame only, which is currently 449. There are four specs that we test with all of our electric standing desks that come in for review. The first is the height adjustment range, and listed on IKEA's site is a 24 and 3 quarters up to 50 inches. We actually found that the desk runs between 24 and 50 inches, so there is a little bit more range there. The second spec that we test is the adjustment speed or travel speed of the desk. The Itazon, with only the weight of the surface, which is approximately 50 pounds, went at a speed of 1.48 inches per second. When we added a 50 pound dumbbell, it dropped down 20% to 1.21 inches per second. Adding 100 pounds dropped even further, 35%, down to approximately one inch per second. And at max capacity, or 155 additional pounds, it went below one inch at 0.76 inches per second. The third spec that we test is the noise level of the desk, which IKEA had rated at approximately 55 decibels. We found with the weight of only the work surface that this was untrue and that it on average was between 58 and 60 decibels. When we added 50 pounds to the work surface, it jumped up to 60 to 63 decibels. The last spec that we tested on the Itizen table is its weight rating, which IKEA had listed between 155 and 165 pounds, depending on where the information was found. We did find this to be true as the Itizen didn't have issues lifting the max capacity. However, we did find it had inconsistent speeds as you added more weight and got closer to its overall weight capacity. The first thing that I like about IKEA's Itizen table is the change to Linac for the OEM manufacturing. IKEA's Bacant table is currently manufactured by Roll Ergo, and the issues that they've had with that table are well documented. Linac is a global leader in linear actuator systems and electronics, and so this is a much better company to work with, in my opinion. One of the most important components inside of an electric standing desk that oftentimes goes unnoticed is the gear system that drives the desk up and down. It's important that this runs efficiently and smoothly, which requires a lot of experience from the manufacturer. Linac is a global leader in the production of these gears, and so what we found inside the iDesign was a really good high quality gear system. Another added bonus with working with an OEM like Linac is the fact that they're very good at producing high quality columns with glide systems to fit. When we looked at the Itizen's table, we noticed that the thickness of the tubes was about 2.2 millimeters thick, which created a really solid frame construction that prevented any type of bending when the desk was at height. Something else that was interesting about this design was the fact that they had a unique groove system within the column for their lower glide system, which kind of prevented any twisting that you would find normally in a round tube design. With the use of high quality custom fit glide systems, the Linac column is able to get an extra tight fit when marrying all of the columns together. This creates a very solid foundation and helps to really reduce the front to back or left to right stability issues that might exist in a table of this type of design. 
Having high quality electronics in an electric standing desk is very important, and by partnering with Linac, IKEA is able to take advantage of this leading manufacturer's products in its Idizen table. They also get to use the piezo anti-collision avoidance system for better collision avoidance for things that you may run into at your desk when moving it up and down. Since buying an electric standing desk is a big investment for most of us, we always want to find the best warranty that we can. The IKEA Idizen table comes with a solid 10-year warranty, which is one of the best in the industry. The last thing that I really liked about the IKEA Idizen table was its overall stability. When we tested it on our wobble meter, we found that left to right it had very good stability for a table that didn't include a cross support, and this was mostly due to the tightness in the columns, the overall glide fit, things of that nature. The front to back stability was the best that we've tested by far to date as well, and most of that comes from the design of the lower portion of the frame. While there's a lot to like about the IKEA Idizen table, it wasn't perfect, and that's very common for all of the standing desks that we've tested. The first thing that I didn't like about the IKEA Idizen was its low weight capacity. With a weight capacity of about 155 to 165 pounds, this may be good for home users, but won't be good for power users or someone who might have a lot of screens and extra items on their desk. A secondary issue with the low weight capacity of the IKEA Idizen table is the inconsistent speeds in which it operates when you add weight to the surface. With only the weight of the surface, it operates at about 1.48 inches per second, which is plenty fast, but when you add only 50 pounds, it drops by 20%. When you add 100 pounds, it drops 35%, and by the time you're at max capacity of 155 pounds, it drops 50% all the way down to 0.76 inches per second. While the use of the pedal system is nice and convenient to have, the IKEA Idizen table doesn't come with a programmable button option. This is actually one of the most popular add-ons for electric standing desks. A nice feature is that it does have a Bluetooth functionality built into it, which will allow you to use presets on your phone. However, these are not one-touch functionality, which is also one of the things that we've come to expect from most electric standing desks that do have preset functionality. Well, at first glance, the IKEA Idizen's tabletop might look very nice with a wood veneer finish. We found that the hollow core design of it almost feels cheap when compared to that of most of the alternative commercial grade laminates that we've tested. We've also found that the wood veneer finish doesn't hold up as well to everyday use. Consider the fact that IKEA does offer better bamboo and even butcher block design tops for much less money. When the iDesign is purchased in-store, it's very reasonable at $579 to $599. But unfortunately, if you don't live near an IKEA store, you will get hit with a $199 shipping charge. While the service offered is probably worth the $199, it's much more expensive than many of the alternatives found online. Many of these alternatives will also offer a free ground shipping, which will bring the items up to your door. After reviewing the IKEA Idizen table, I have to say it's a big improvement over the former IKEA Bacon table. Pretty much improvements throughout the entire desk. But of course, like all electric standing desks, it is not perfect. If you'd like to read the full review, the more detailed version with better pictures and close-ups of some of the internal components, I highly recommend that you click the link that I've dropped down in the description. And if you like this video, please help us out and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got a ton of great content coming out on more standing desks here in the future. Thanks a lot for watching.